Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, the kid, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. Today's episode, what is it? It's important, is what it is, all right? This is probably the most important thing. Is it the most important thing? No. One of, let's, let's, let's qualify that. It's probably one of the most important things to have on your machine, and you can watch it constantly, okay? So I have the new Evo 3 Simrad 12 inch mounted on top of the uh, workbench here, and we're gonna go through that right now. Distance to destination, D, T, D. Mucho importante, okay? Why is it important? Let me give an example, all right? Blackfish. We'll go blackfish. All right, you guys have this rock pile that you always fish. So you want to go onto that rock pile. You can put the waypoint in, and then you're going to watch the distance to destination, all right? You could be three miles away from it. As you get closer, obviously, the DTD, the distance to destination number, should be dropping, all right? So when you get to this piece, it's going to drop into the feet, all right? It's not going to go into inches, but it's going to go into feet, all right? So when you're on top of that waypoint, Right now, you know you're at where you want to be. If you're using a uh, spot lock or an anchor, two different uh, scenarios, but you know right there you're on top because why? Because your DTD went down to zero. That means you're on top of your waypoint. All right. So now you drop with the hook and you're gonna go up current. You know that's another episode in itself. But you're gonna drop the hook up current. You're gonna drop back and your DTD as you go away from that piece. Right, the piece is here. You go up current and now your you hook drops and you're gonna drop back onto the piece. The DTD now is going back to zero, right? You want to stop that anchor and hook up that anchor at zero or thereabouts. So you have a little wiggle room on the piece, all right? So that's what it is. So you always want to look at the DTD, all right? Say you're spot locked on there and you're always looking at your machine. Next thing you know, you see a DTD is two feet, three feet. Cool. It's cooling again. You're right where you want to be. All right, it's going to fluctuate a little bit because that machine's got to kind of compensate for wind and tide. But if you're sitting back and you're looking, geez, my DTD is 450 feet. Obviously, spot lock failed, and, and sometimes you can't tell that, or maybe it failed and didn't get back to where it needs to get to. And you look at your DTD, and you're off 60, 70 feet. That right there could be a game changer in bottom fishing, right? So always, always, when you have your machine and you're chilling on the hook or you're doing anything, you want to watch the DTD. The DTD is distance to destination again, all right? So I'm going to show you now, going on to the Simrad Evo 3, how we're going to make sure we have that in our menu bar that we can always see it on our charts, all right? All right, guys, here's the voiceover. Remember, old school, you tap the big screen, it gets surrounded in orange. That means the menu up here will cover that screen, the bar on the right now, all right? So we're going to edit that. Uh, we're going to change out CTS, which is course to steer. We don't care about that, all right? We're going to change that, and we're going to put that over to, in navigation, over to distance destination, DTD, all right? So we're going to click that box. We're going to go over, and we're going to see now it changes over to DTD, all right? That's all you got to do. Now, that's on your screen there. Choose whatever you'd like on that right bar, speed over ground, whatever you like to see how fast you're going, your depth, of course, you always want to know. Course over ground, that can be switched out with all the multiple different options you can have with Simrad, all right? But most importantly, what we're trying to show here is the DTD. And the TTD down there is time to destination, so it'll tell you when you need to get there, all right? So that's that. So you always want to look at that chart. You want to always look at that DTD. What attempts, whatever you want to do, you can do all that jazz too if you like, but make sure on that front page of your chart, you have DTD, all right? And again, distance to destination. Get that in your head. It's always going to tell you where you are, all right? You're always going to know where that piece is, how far away you are from that piece. And it could be a matter of feet. It could be a matter of yards, all right? So know that stuff. Make sure you know what DTD is. Make sure you put it on your screen. That's just a quick video, all right? Remember, DTD, distance to destination. Everybody's doing it, baby. All right, down. Another key. Do not settle, all right? People will fish structure and they're gonna swing, and they're gonna swing, and they're gonna swing off. Don't settle for that. If you have a good current and you have uh, good wind in your favor, boom, single anchor, you can do that, no problem. Drop the hook, drop back, how you doing, all right? If you're starting to swing and do crazy stuff, pop up, drop another anchor, right? Do a little uh, double anchor technique to hold you tight at that piece. But do not settle for anything that's not close to zero on your DTD when you're fishing structure, all right? Don't mess around, you're wasting time. All right, shake it, take care, brush your hair. How you doing? I love you, All kid. ladies. Till next episode, the kid's out.